Hey guys, uh, my name is Gabriel V and the, this video is on Switcher Studio. So if you are a church that is trying to do a live broadcast but you don't have the means to drop thousands of dollars or you simply just want to host a conference or a video or something of that sort but you don't have the means to make it happen, uh, I found this software called Switcher Studio that I personally love. Uh, I'm the multimedia director at my local church and this is what we use and I love it. So Switcher Studio, you just go to switcherstudio.com, it is only compatible with Apple devices. So I have my iPad as a switcher, okay? And the way I do it, for example, at my church, the way I set it up is I use my iPad as a switcher and I use, I have an iPhone 10 as the main camera and I have an iPhone 7 on the drummer, I have an iPhone 7 on the bass and the choir and I have an iPhone 7 on my keyboard player, which is my worship leader. Okay, so it's very simple, okay? You download the app called Switcher Studio, and the app is completely free on iOS, on the Apple uh, library. You can actually go on there, download it for free. And the way it works is once, you've once you have it downloaded, you basically just create a login. And uh, you can try it free for a couple of days. The only difference is that if you try it free for a couple of days, they will leave their watermark on the top right-hand side, and it'll say Powered by Switcher Studio on the top. Okay, but other than that, I mean, you can try it for free and see if it works out for you. Okay, but I've got the package. I mean, I think we've got the package for $40 a month. It's called an essential package and it's got the live editing, the screen sharing. You can allow one guest, 20 assets. You can go live on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitch, Microsoft and stream. So once you've got that, once you've downloaded the applications and you're ready to rock and roll, you created a, uh, 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 you've created a login, you're, the first window, it says, uh, it's going to say use a switcher or use as camera. So my iPad is my switcher and my iPhones are my cameras, okay? So we have to make sure that we plug into the same Wi-Fi, okay? Now... I've heard a lot of people complaining that the that the video looks choppy, that it doesn't look good. Look, get yourself a good router. I highly, highly recommend you use the 5G band, okay? I highly recommend you use the 5G because if you use the 2.4, it's going to be laggy. It's going to be choppy, okay? Once we're connected, all your devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi, you're going to go and you're going to, uh, at the very bottom, uh, to the right, you're going to see a bunch of icons. The very first one is a camera icon. It says sources on your Wi-Fi network. You're going to see all of your iPhones as sources there. Okay, so you click on them and you'll be you'll see them pop up on the bottom left as little windows. And you're going to see if you have three phones, you're going to see three little cameras. Okay, so once you click on one, it, you have two screens up on top. One of them on the left and one of them on the right. The one on the left is a preview. The one on the right is what people are watching. So once you click on one and you're ready and that's what you want to see, you hit the, 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 the button that says preview with two little arrows that says live and it'll kick it over to the right. Okay, now we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, so now you've got your cameras. Okay, so we've got video now. We've already established that we've got video. Now, what are we going to do for audio? Okay, there are different ways that you can go for art for you. There are different ways that you can put your audio into the iPad. Okay, now right now I am using a Behringer C1 condenser microphone with an XLR. Okay, that XLR is going into my iRig and my iRig is going into my iPad. Okay, my iRig is going to my iPad. Let me see if I can get that in there. It's going into my iPad via, I don't know what you would call like an aux cord or a headphone input, okay? Because my iPad, it's probably one of the older ones, still got it going on. A lot of a lot of the newer ones, you're probably going to need some kind of adapter. But this iRig is an iRig Pre, which means that I can go in XLR. I personally prefer XLR. Now, this is a very simple rig if you're going to make a little video or if you're if you're trying to do Bible studies or something like that or if you've got, 
church stuff or it doesn't matter what you're trying to use it for if you only need one microphone you're good you grab your microphone if it's a condenser the iRig has a feature called phantom power also known as 48 volt you pick up the iRig switch all the way to the top the red light lights up it'll power on your condenser if you've got a regular sm58 or a regular microphone you've just bought at guitar center sweetwater something like that then you you just set it to the on setting Again, it'll work. It'll pick up the audio crystal clear into your iPad, okay? So once I plug in my iRig, if I go to the bottom icon, it's got some waves on there. It'll say wired line forward slash mic input. And you'll be able to see, there's a little, you'll, you, you'll see a, you'll see the little lights, the green, the yellow, and the red. Make sure it doesn't hit the red because then you're peaking and the iRig has got a volume gain on it. So that way you make sure you can control it. Okay. Now, in a scenario where I have where like I'm the multimedia director at my church and in a scenario where where you're trying to go out, I go out of one of my buses on my X32. So the way I have it set up at church is I go from my X32. I use bus seven to be exact bus seven out of my X32 into my iRig pre and from my iRig Pre into the headphone jack of my iPad, and I've got the full mix. Put my headphones on, I solo bus number nine, bus number seven, and I'm ready to rock and roll. I plug my headphones into my iRig to make sure I'm not peaking, to make sure I'm good, and we're ready to rock and roll. Now, if you're not trying to do something that big, I've got here a little Behringer mixer here. Okay, very simple. Very simple to to sit to, to hook up, okay? You this one has got five XLRs and it's also got five lines, okay? So let's just say you're trying to do something a little bit smaller, not as big as what I'm doing, but not as small as one condenser. You can hook up, let's just say you got three people talking. You can hook up the three microphones and you can hook up a music and a computer. Whatever it is that you need to do. So now you can hire, if you were to hire this. You'd be hiring a microphone. You'd be you. You have a full EQ with your, well, not a full EQ, but it's better than nothing. You have your your highs, your mids, and your lows, and then you have your main. The more you hire this, the more these hire. If you want to hire all of them at the same time, you bring that down, and your main brings that down. Okay. You'll go out of your main. Okay, you're gonna look for your main out, and from your main out, you're gonna go into your iRig. Now this main out right here is quarter inch and my iRig is XLR. So here I would need an adapter or I recommend you would maybe get an iRig HD2, something along those lines. But on bigger mixers, you're gonna have an XLR out or you can get the iRig HD2 or get an adapter. I mean, there's tons of ways around it. But long story short, if you're gonna do more than one microphone, you're gonna need some kind of mixer, okay? So we have from the mixer to the iRig, from the iRig into the iPad, and from the iPad, we can control everything, okay? It's pretty simple, okay? We have video with our iPhones all on the same Wi-Fi. We have audio through an iRig, okay? So it doesn't matter what I plug into my iRig, all the mixer is doing is expanding my channels. Okay. Now this mixer here in particular, it's got phantom power. So I could have plugged this into this mixer. And the reason why I chose this mixer is because this mixer is portable. You can use batteries. Okay. Very simple setup. You can hook this mixer up, charge your iPad, your iRig uses batteries, and your mixer uses batteries. And now you can go outside and do an event with more than one microphone everything's on batteries you can go as long as you want long story short it's portable and it's movable okay so now that we've got video and now that we've got audio i've heard a lot of people saying that it's choppy okay now this is what i do okay your next icon over is it's got a square with an arrow pointing to the right it's called a broadcasting Okay. you can broadcast onto facebook live youtube live linkedin live Twitch live and all that good stuff, okay? Now, I don't know wherever it is that you're broadcasting, but where the church that I go to, it does not have very good internet. The internet is terrible. So this is what we did. We bought a really good Linksys router. We set it up to our internet. Everything is working fine, 
Okay, our everything looks great, except when we start uploading, it looks terrible. So I disconnected the Ethernet cable that goes from the modem to the router, and now I just have a router with a dummy network that doesn't have any internet going to it. All my router is doing is keeping my devices linked. Okay, with that being said, on that broadcasting tab at the very bottom, it says none. The moment that you hit record on none, it's going to record into your iPad. I mean, if you were to broadcast live on Facebook, it still records it to your iPad, but that's when you get choppy. Now, if you, our router, we use the 5 gigahertz bandwidth, and we go on none, now you have a flawless video. What I do is I record our video, I record our worship, we stop, I record the word, I stop, then I go into my computer and you can do iMovie, you can do Final Cut Pro, I do Final Cut Pro, you can do, I mean you can even take it to PC to go Windows Movie Maker, edit your video and premiere it on Facebook or premiere it on YouTube at whatever time you schedule it and it's just like a live. It lets people know what's going on, except now you've edited it. You've added all of your good stuff, all of your touches, an intro, an outro, the, all that good stuff, okay? It's just, it, it all depends on how you wanna do it, but a lot of people have been asking me. I've been getting, I've been getting a lot of direct messages on Facebook asking me why does it look choppy, what's going on, help me out. Uh, I'm just, I mean, the reason why I'm making this video is I'm trying to simplify your life the way it simplified mine, okay? The next uh, icon over, it's, uh, it's a transition. So you can cut from one video to the next. You can cross dissolve, wipe, cube, twist, all that good stuff. The next icon over has got two lines with two dots on them. This is beautiful here, okay? You can control your iPhones from here, from the iPad. So right now I'm doing a live and I'm using Switcher to do the live and I can control, for example, I can control the zoom, I can control the focus, the exposure, I can turn the LED on my phone on and I can turn it off. It has a stabilization button and it's got a lock autofocus button. So sometimes people move on stage and stuff like that and the camera autofocuses because iPhone has that feature. Well. It's got an auto lock where once you set it, you just set it and forget it and you walk away. Okay. The next icon over are the are the waves. Uh, again, your microphone right now, mine says wired line forward slash mic input. The next one over, video chat. Uh, we'll be touching more on that later. The next one over is your comments, is your Facebook chat. You can load your comments as if you're going live, you can see what people are commenting from Switcher. And the last one, it allows you to customize your icons on the bottom. Thus, you can add the scoreboard or you can add the Facebook polls. I don't use that. I don't have them on mine. I mean, that's pretty much the basics of Switcher. You've got your video and you've got your source of audio. And you don't have to spend thousands of dollars on Blackmagic cameras that you can't afford. I mean, I have an iPhone. I use my iPhone. Okay, my worship leader has an iPhone. My drummer has an iPhone. So we can we can then download Switcher Studio onto their iPhones and we can use theirs as a view. You know, if you've got a, tr what we did is we ordered a whole bunch of tripods and we ordered the tripods that have the phone adapter on them. And there you go. You can record in 1080, you can record in 720, you can record, I mean, sky's the limit. Uh, it's got an option on here. If you've got bad Wi-Fi and you go to the to the to the broadcasting to the what well, it's called an output the square with the with the arrow face to the right. If you keep scrolling down, it's got a it's got an option for weak Wi-Fi. It's got an option for good Wi-Fi or manual. Uh, I mean, it's give you it gives you options. You can add. The little icon up there, follow us on Facebook, you can add follow us on YouTube, you can add follow us on, I mean, sky's the limit, you can do lower thirds, you transition from one to the other, and the transmission, the transition can be, I mean, it can be as dead as that, or it can be as fancy as that, I mean, just to give you some examples. It's beautiful. You have 
everything in one little iPad. If you're going to use your phone as a switcher, it's going to be the exact same thing, just smaller. So when you hold your phone upright, you're going to see all the icons that I'm talking about. You can shoot vertical and you can shoot horizontal because if you can still add all your lower thirds and all that. So I made this video simply because I've seen so many people having a hard time trying to find something that they can use. Here is a product that you can use. Here is a product that is very simple to use. You have great audio, you have great video, and it transitions so smoothly, you cannot go wrong with it. I will be pulling out more videos as time goes on. I've been asked how do you use ProPresenter with for churches that use pro presenter for their lyric how do you use that with switcher i will make another video on that how do you use zoom with switcher the audio all that good stuff we'll get to that this is the very first video that i'm making and i hope that it helps out a lot of people and until next time i'll see you this is gabriel v